praise the Lord. We're going to go ahead and sing Victory Song.
Thank the Lord today for a beautiful day. It's raining, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Amen. You know, the grass and the trees, they need watering, you know. And God know what he's doing. <clears throat> We're going to go to the throne this morning and asking God first order of business. Ask God for forgiveness. Amen. Yeah. Something we need to do on the day to make it a habit. Just asking God, God forgive us, yeah. you know, so we can get closer to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask thee, Father God, forgive us for everything we have done and said, Father. Forgive us for the old and the new, Father God. Help us to get stronger on the will of God. Help us to put down the things that are hindering the mind, the body, the soul, and the counsel. Father, we ask in thee, Jesus Christ, look upon us in the city of Jacksonville, Florida, Father God. Father, bless our homes, our cause, our job, our health, our wealth. Father God, bless us to get closer to you on the daily, Father God. Help us, to God, to get a relationship with you, Father. Yeah. Father, we ask in thee to have a spiritual, physical, mental concept with you, Father, on the daily. Father, look in the hospital, look in the jails, look in the prisons, look in these other countries, and show your people who you are, Father God. You are a true living God. Man don't have control of the world, Father. He thinks he do, but God have control of this world, people. Father, we need to walk upright. We're not animals. We are humans. We are made from the dust, and we should acknowledge God on the daily, Father God. Lord, look upon our children. Look upon the our jobs, where we work at, our schools, even our nations, Father God, this, you, the United States, Father. Father, we ask that you let the Holy Ghost go out, Father, and help your people that believe in you and trust in you, Father. Amen. Be protected. Have a hedge of protection day and night, Father God, just like you did the Israelites. Amen. You know, pillar by night and uh, of a fire by night and a pillar by day, Father yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Give us that protection on this earth, Father. Yeah. Father, we need that protection on the daily. Yeah. Father God, we need that Holy Ghost Spirit, yeah. Father, to stay well, yeah. stay sober-minded. Yeah. Father God, we need that Holy Ghost to walk and talk with our children. Yeah. Father God, we need the Holy Ghost to go in the hospitals, go in the jail, yeah. go in the schools. Father God, go in the White House yeah. and our legislature, our council, yeah. Father, and our city yeah. of, and our mayor. Yeah. Give her that church-going mind, Father God. Yeah. Give us that 
spiritual mind that help your people that are in need, Hallelujah. Father. Help the people that to do what's right by your people, Father. Father, some don't know how to do right. They done lived in sin for so long, Father God. They don't know what is right. They think, you know, they think just living in sin is satisfied, Father. But, Father, we're asking thee, Father, open up the windows of heaven. Pour us out that Holy Ghost blessing, Father God, first for healing of the mind, healing of the counsel, healing of the spirit, healing of the body. Heal our organs inside of our body, Father God, on the daily, Father God, whether it's our kidneys, our lungs, our whatever it may be, Father God, is dysfunctional in our spirit, in our mind, in our counsel, our attitude, whatever it may be, Father, is hindering us from getting closer to you, Father God. We ask you, Father, to help us to understand how to deal with that. Yeah. Father God, not run in a corner and hide. Yeah. Not get attitude. Yeah. Uh, not fall out and fight and be angry, Father God. Hallelujah. Give us understanding, yeah. understanding Lord. how to do things, Father. Yeah. How to do things your way, not yeah. man way, not father's way, not mother's Hallelujah. way, but do things the Holy Ghost way. Holy Ghost. Father God, we need that Holy Ghost to yeah. fall upon yeah. us to fall in our spirit. Yes. Now, Father God, walk in our house, walk on our job, get in our cars, Father God. Hallelujah. We need that Holy Ghost in our soul, Father. Give us and straighten us up, Father. Help us to walk upright, Father. Help us to walk, Father God, with the strong attitude, love one another as you love us, Father God, on the daily, Father. Father, help us to forget and forgive, Father, so we can get closer to you. So we can be a servant, Father, yes, for your call. Yes. We yes. pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We remain standing for our Father's prayer and our 23rd song. Amen. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debtors, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. And he has not fly down in green pastures. He leads me beside still water. And he guards my soul. And he leads me in the path of righteousness. And he now walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Prepare no evil. The God that rod is the God that stands, they comfort me. And prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Lord, my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Children and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. You may be seated. Amen.
to get to y'all. We ain't got it there yet, but we're going to get it to you. Because I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And I'm blessed. Yeah. Woo! I'm yeah. blessed. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm blessed anyhow, anyway. Yeah. It don't matter if it was God. I'm still blessed Amen. because Jesus died. Yeah. Amen. That's how Amen. I'm feeling right now. Yeah. That's the way I'm feeling. Thanks. Uh, this is our last Sunday this month. Thank and praise God. Uh, I, um, well, since I got a uh, most on long, so I, I uh, didn't have the, um, the little the little class, but that's okay. That's okay. They still waiting on. They miss us. <laughs> they waiting to come. And all. Uh, so, but November's about out, and I'm truly thankful. You know that's what I mean by blessing. I'm I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the God for whatever I have. You know, I, I was reading the Bible and it say, you know, it, you know, you know, you're blessed. You're blessed anyway. It's not about being rich, but you, you, you're still blessed. It's the blessing right. of a poor man. It's, be, it's better to be poor Amen. because you with Christ. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's better to be that way. People say, well, how is that? Because when you got the love of Jesus in your heart, you can feel that. You say, well, Bob might be sitting in the dark in the cold, but no matter if he don't do another thing, he's still worthy of my praise. He's brought me through so much. And I thank and praise God for that. I thank and praise God for that. Okay, well, we move Moses along. Just thank and praise God uh, for November and for, you know, people. Hopefully, they may not got what they wanted, you know, for Thanksgiving, but they still be thankful for Thanksgiving. Okay, all right, we're moving into December. December is coming up. And I just want to say that I'm uh, so grateful in Sunday school about my uh, firecracker, firecracker, boom, boom, boom. I like the fight. That, that's our, our thing for this month is the firecracker. So that's what we say, and then we t tell them what was our explosion. My explosion was that these people were so sad because they, they, could, they couldn't find a song in their heart to sing because they had been captured, but they'd but they been bad, you know? And, you know, they, they didn't, you know, do what God does. So God let your enemy punish you. You know, they, 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 a lot of that happened with these Israelites, you know. But, you know, but I, I mean, I said, you mean tell me y'all didn't want to even sing a song? You know, sing a song because all that, the, you know, the torture that you were going through. But God will give you a song in your heart, you know what I'm saying? He'll give you a Bible verse, you know, our memory verses come out. And I said, these people didn't even want to sing? Oh, my goodness. You might not remember the tune, and you just, you know, something just get, I just, you know, something just get to you, you know what I'm saying? You say, I don't remember the word, but, you know, I remember that tune. You know, something's going to come to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if you don't remember the whole song. You know what I'm saying? Something that just going to just stay with you. Say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, old soldier. Don't you ever give up. You know what I'm saying? Don't you ever give up. Because the angels of God, that's what the suit I'm talking about, the angels of God, you know, they right there. Jesus is right there. To carry you through, no matter whatever your situation is. So don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. All right, second Sunday. Well, you know, first Sunday is coming, and it's next Sunday and first Sunday. Okay, and um, that's our communion Sunday. Ooh. Second Sunday is 
Sunday dress down day, male, especially belt and ties, female, especially belts and tights. Some people got beautiful tights, you know, the, um, the, um, yeah, we call them stockings, pantyhose, whatever. You got some, you know, you want to share with us about your specialty belt. Some people got nice little belts that they wear. And they say, oh, well, I can't wear no belt, you know. Not what, but, you, but you know what, it's not about your waistline. Belts help that, help, you know, divide that, make it like two parts. So it ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm talking to myself, okay? But anyway, but, um, but that's what we're doing. Second Sunday dress down, male specialty belts and ties, female specialty belts and tights, okay? Pantyhose, you know, whatever. All right. And let's not forget, next month is Christmas. Christmas giveaways, Carolyn Decor Outside Service Program. Okay, we'll see how the weather goes. We'll see how things go. But I know we got two songs we're still waiting to sing, so I know them two songs are going to be part of that. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, ain't no waste. We've been prized, but ain't no waste because Christmas is coming. We always got to have something special, so we do. We have a brand new song that we're waiting to, um, to put out there. Okay, Christmas giveaways, brand new to us, because we never sung it before. But Christmas giveaways and Carolyn, uh, just wanted to know, um, we put out, are we going to do the Christmas Sisters and Christmas Brother? Uh, okay, uh, let me know. Sometimes we give them after Christmas. If you want to do that, you know, we, you know, I'll get back to you on that because it's the first Sunday and all. So let's see how that go. But thank and praise. We almost in, we almost through our calendar. Lord bless us to get all get all this far down to our calendar. Yeah. So I won't take up no more of your time. All right, I'm gonna turn it over. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank God, you know, because um, you know, I just wanted to say this. I just want to thank God for giving me the mind that I know who I am. Hallelujah. There's so many people out in this world don't know which way to go. They don't know if they are male or female. But we know what we are, what God made us. This free spirit is going around and people doing whatever they want to do. And that is really sad to see that. I was looking at something on Facebook and they showed the crowd at the Thanksgiving parade. They showed a crowd at a football game and they showed a less crowd at the church. <laughs> and I say, wow, I can understand. See, they feel like God is somebody to play with, but one day they're gonna realize that God is nobody to play with. When he wants us to follow his plan so we can have everlasting life, that's what he needs us to do. This free spirit and all this other stuff going around I'm telling you, people need to get themselves together. I saw that, and I said, boy, that's a statement. And you know how God look at that? Look at all the people at the football game. Look at all the people at the parade. Look at all the people at these events that they want to go to. But look at my church. It's empty. You know God have a problem with that? He has a problem with that. He has a problem with that. He is showing that man care about more of something that's pleasing themselves than pleasing God. That is a bad thing. And I just want to thank God that I have that feeling that I have to want to be with him. I want to come to church. I don't care how big the crowd is. I don't have that in my mind. All I know is I want to please God. That's it. That's it. That's all I want to do is just please him. So one day he can say to me, well done, my faithful servant. Amen. That's it. That's what I want to hear. Amen. That's what I want to hear. Just like people are excited about when they get their degree or whatever. Amen. Nah, that ain't nothing compared to when Jesus say, well done, my faithful servant. Amen. That is a beautiful thing to hear from the almighty God. I just love him so much, and I thank him. We went to Atlanta one day <laughs> and came back one day. That was a blessing. And uh, Pastor went to go see his oldest daughter, Angel, and it was a one. We had a wonderful time. <laughs> wonderful time. Yeah, it was nice, you know. And um, so we came back the same day. 
with my arm hurt. No, not it. I said, we're going. We went. <laughs> yes. Sometimes you just got to put that stuff aside. Just like this morning, my arm, shoulder, is really hurting. But I say, well, I sleep it off in the church office, and now I'm here talking. <laughs> So I'm doing, you know, hey, got to, got to work. If you got to go to work sick, you got to come to church sick. So that's the way I feel about it. And God is more important than work because he gives us the job. So, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to move on and we're going to go ahead on with um, uh, taking up collection. standing. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we ask thee, Father God, bless this offering. Let it come back double fold to someone somebody knows. Somebody knows somebody. In the name of Jesus, Father God. And Father, protect us on the day we pray. Amen. Yeah. 
now we're going to have senior pastor come up and feed us. Now, we know we had a good Thanksgiving. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thank the Lord. We're going to have senior pastor Mark Bruce Bennett coming up. Amen. Maybe all stand. Praise the Lord, and you may be seated. Amen. Thank God for another chance and opportunity. Amen. Praise the Lord to be in his presence with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give honor to Christ through the head of all our lives, and thank God that we are here once again to be in his service just one more time. Amen. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Well, we've been preaching on this, amen, and we're probably going to end up this year, uh, excuse me, this month, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he, amen? We're going to look at some scriptures today, and some of it, amen, praise the Lord, uh, 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 you may consider, amen, making some notes, writing this down, Amen. Putting them on, uh, writing them up or printing them out, something. Put it on your wall. Put it on your job, on your desk. Put it in your car. Amen. Make it big so people can see it. And so, better yet, so you can see it. Especially when the devil got your eyes going somewhere else. Amen. And you know, you're looking over here, and next thing you don't pass by that big sign. That you got up about, amen, praise the Lord, wisdom, how to be wise, because that's what Proverbs is about, about being wise, amen, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, Proverbs, amen, will we be in, we'll be in, we'll be in, we have been in Proverbs, and Proverbs gives you wisdom and teaches you and guides you and tells you how God, amen, wants you to live and help you to better yourself and see yourself and your condition and learn, amen, praise the There's another way, another a way of life and of opportunity of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, that's what God inspired Solomon and other writers of Proverbs uh, to do. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, today I got a question for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Close your eyes for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to ask this question. What are you thinking of now? Open your eyes. Amen? Amen, praise the Lord. And I don't even know what you're thinking about, but I want, more important, I want you to know what you've been thinking about or what you were thinking about with your eyes closed. Somebody said, well, Pastor, you didn't give enough time for my mind to come up and do some thinking. Amen? It was wondering so bad that I didn't get a chance to do some thinking. Amen? Amen? But I'm concerned today, uh, what are we thinking about? What are we thinking about? Amen, praise the Lord. Oftentimes you, you hear people say, well, why in the world you do that? What were you thinking? And somebody replied, well, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Amen? Amen, praise the Lord. It's important for us to realize, amen, praise the Lord, that we need to be uh, uh, in tune to what we are thinking, amen, because what we thinking will get us in trouble. To say it another word, uh, what are you thinking about, amen? What are you thinking about, amen? Do you know what you're thinking about, or does your mind run rampant? Amen, praise the Lord, run rampant. You think about this, you think about that, you think about, oh, Lord, have mercy, you, your mind over here, your mind over there, your mind on the job, you get off the work, you're supposed to be off the job, but you running your mind about what happened on the job, but you off. So what are you thinking about? Amen. Something don't happen in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and you focus on it. It's going to drive you crazy because you spend too much time doing what? Thinking about that thing. So God wants you to control your thinking. Amen. Because that's how the devil used me and how he used you. That's how the devil used us. He gets us to think on things he wants us to think on and not what God wants us to think on. Hallelujah. Amen, praise the Lord. Uh, amen. So you know, amen, when I asked you uh, that, amen, it was a rhetorical question. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, I, I, I want you to think about what you're thinking about. Amen? Give me considerable thought. 
Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. The devil be so busy with us sometimes that, amen, we get caught up in his foolishness. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, he put the thought in our mind. Amen, praise the Lord. And before we realize, we don't say what he put in our mind. It's like it went up there and went out. Amen, praise the Lord. You gave it very little thought. Amen. Now you don't say something, don't got you in trouble. You hear say, did I say that? Yeah, I heard you. No, no, you sure I said that? Yeah, you said I was standing right here. No, I don't think I said that. That's because the devil done got you. Amen. Not to think about, or uh, 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 give a little thought. And, and let me tell you how much thought you give. Amen. It's in, and your mouth matriculate. The words form the words, and, and all God has made in you, how the words get done, your vocal cords, and, and your body, and everything else. And I'm going to go through all that, but I'm going to tell you, that's what the thinking you did. You didn't think was it make good sense. You didn't think it was going to get you in trouble. You didn't think what repercussions going to from that. Amen. You felt good and you decided to say it. Because the devil put in your mind. He's been thought, uh, putting thoughts in your mind so long. Amen. Praise the Lord. Till you think the devil know it all. You think the devil know everything. Like somebody think about the internet. If they put it on the internet, that means it, it's true. Amen. Because the devil said it, that doesn't make it true. Amen, praise the Lord. So it don't sound so far-fetched when I say, think about what you're thinking about. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Well, today, amen, praise the Lord. I want you to look at, amen, uh, the third part of Proverbs, and we've been in it, and that's what this is, part of the third part of Proverbs. Amen, praise the Lord. But I want to look at uh, the 30 scenes of the wives. Amen, praise the Lord. Let me put this up here because we're going to, only look at a few of those things. Hold on. Let me put this up here. Amen. Amen. Let's see if we can get this to work like I want to work. Amen. Pray. Oh, we up there now. Let's see. All right. I need to blow that up. Hold on here now. Let me blow that up just a little bit more. All right. Now, this is coming out of the international version. Uh, what we have here, amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Let me get it right here. All right, 30 sayings of the wise. And I did a search in these 30 sayings, and I picked out some verses concerning heart. Amen? And you'll see later on, but we're just going to look at a few of those things. Amen, praise the Lord. Can everybody see that? Amen, praise the Lord. Can everybody see it? Amen. Let's read the first first thing. That third thing, this is the first thing. These things are coming from Proverbs 22nd chapter. 17 throughout the 24th chapter, throughout the 34th verse. And we're not going to go through all 30. I'm just going to pick the one with the heart. Let's read it together. 17, pay attention and turn your ear to the sing of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach. 18, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips. Amen. Praise the Lord. Think about that now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me see if I can go to the next one. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me see. Go, we'll go a little bit more. That's scene one. All right. We're going to skip that one. We're going to go to scene nine. Oh, back up. Oh, hold on. We're going to go to scene nine. Amen. All right. Scene nine. Let's read it. Do not eat the food of a begrudging host. Do not crave his delicacies. For he is the kind of person who is always thinking about the cost. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. You will vomit up the little you have eaten and will have wasted your compliments. Amen, praise You know, I was searching the web, searching the internet, YouTube, and all the other things. Amen, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, I try to be knowledgeable about, amen, my relationship with God in relationship to other of the cloth, all the clergymen, right? And one of the cler clergymen was talking about people take our text, amen, uh, uh, what a man th whatever a man thinketh, so is he. And he was saying that many people take that out of context, and a lot of people take the Bible out of context, amen? Amen, praise the Lord. And you know, or if you think about things enough, then you become what you are. Amen. And we all, me and him, had a disagreement 
saying that, amen, praise the Lord, if you think something, that, uh, that you don't mean you're going to become something, but not necessarily, and, and, and you could become, amen, praise the Lord, if you a liar, Amen, praise the Lord. You can think about lying and lying, lying. Next thing you know, they give you a nickname called Eli. Amen, because you're always telling lies. So you think what you're going to, you think about it, that's what you're going to become. If you become a servant of God and you think about God, then you become a servant of God. Amen, praise the Lord. Many people take that verse, amen, praise the Lord, the seventh verse, amen, praise the Lord, and they take that out of context. Amen, praise the Lord. You know, amen, praise the Lord. If y'all confused, let me... Put this verse back up here a little bit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hold on here. See that verse. For uh, for uh, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Amen. Praise the Lord. In his heart, we're focusing on uh, what's in your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. And then you know uh, 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 this. Amen. Scripture. Amen. Praise the Lord. The scripture here, Proverbs 23, 7, talks about a man, amen, inviting you to his house. Y'all remember that? We've been studying that. A man invites you to his house, and he was begrudgingly, and he don't really want to, want to do it, but he's there, amen, pray. He complaining about it and to himself, within himself, and, you know, his motive may not be no good, amen, praise the Lord. He want to complain about it. He's spending the money, amen, praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah, amen. If you got to go through all that, then stop inviting people to your house. Amen? If they can't, you can't invite them to your house with a good spirit and thought in your mind and heart, then stop inviting them to your house. Amen? Praise the Lord. And the Word of God says, amen, praise the Lord, all the good compliments you give him or them or her or the people that's, that's hosting, amen, the dinner, all the good compliments, and the Bible says what? Well, they ain't going to ain't gonna be no good because he don't mean it. Amen, praise the Lord. It don't mean anything to him that when you do that. Amen, praise the Lord. So, amen, let's go back to where we were. Amen, praise the Lord. Okay, so we looked at that. Amen, let's look at some more. Uh, nine, eat, drink. We looked at that. Well, let's go to 10. Uh, let's see. Uh, 12, okay. Apply your heart to instructions and your ears to words of knowledge. Provide, uh, apply your heart to your instructions. Amen. Amen. Pray. Ears. Amen. Pray. I always tell people, amen, God gave you two ears, amen, and one mouth. And that means, amen, praise the Lord, you should lose your ears more than you use your mouth. If God wants you to talk so much, he give you two mouths. Amen. But when I look, I ain't got but one. Until I go to the mirror, amen, pray. As much as I talk, they call me Big Mouth. And, um, and uh, I can't think of my older brother's nickname either now, but he used to call me some, some name, amen, praise the Lord. P motor Mouth, that's what, thank you, honey. He used to call me Motor Mouth because I like to talk. See, God had put that me in a young age to run my mouth, amen. People on my job said, you love to talk. People in, in our uh, uh, photo club said, uh, you love to talk. I said, I sure do. I can't help it. That's what God put in me, amen. I'm going to run my mouth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. See, I, I, I'm going to turn that negativism into something positive because I'm a creation of God. Amen. If God put it in me. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's going to come out of me. Amen. That's why I tell preachers all the time, you got to get a clean life, live a clean life, and all the problems you having in your life, amen, they're going to come out in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. All right now, I'm going to preach it. Amen. They're going to come out and put it because you know why? God preaches to your heart and from your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. What a man thinketh, so is he. Amen. If there's confusion in his life, amen. Praise the Lord. What are you going to do? Think about it. Amen. Pray. Me and my wife ain't getting along. Amen. Y'all going to hear about it. Amen. She made me mad. Y'all going to hear about it. Amen. If I ain't preaching, you may not hear them. But if I got to come back and preach, you're going to hear about it. Amen. That's just, amen, praise the Lord. If you're a real preacher, amen, some preacher can cheat on their wife, go over to the woman, don't say a word. Amen. Get up there and preach against what they're doing. Amen. But you're a real man of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God's going to get in your heart. He's going to clean it up. 
Amen. Pray. And then you know coming out. <laughs> and then you go again before. See, let's see, let's see, the devil got to think he got the moratorium in that trick. But see, God got it better. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you ain't right in here, amen. Praise the Lord. And you begin to open your mouth when the Holy Spirit start to guide you and clean you and tell you what to say. Amen. Praise the Lord. What's going to come out? I know this preacher was a, was a drug, doing drugs real bad. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he said he got the Holy Spirit, and he related it felt like his first high. Woo! Lord have mercy. I had to distance myself from him. Amen, praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Something wasn't clean that you're going to put God in your first high on the same level. Amen. Let me use this mic. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm back. I'm back, honey. I'm out of hit the cord. But anyway, amen. That's what the devil do. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got to live a clean. And we, how about that? Can y'all hear me? Amen. Praise the Lord. I got one, two, three. One don't cut out. Amen. We all right, honey. Don't worry about it. Ain't that sister? It's the, it's the microphone. I didn't change the battery. Amen. Amen. No, don't worry about it. Amen. We're going to preach from right here. Right here on, on the microphone. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, amen. It's important for you to realize, amen, when you start thinking, you're going to be thinking about, amen, praise the Lord, things that are troubling your heart. Amen. Amen. If your family ain't treating you right, amen, praise the Lord, you're going to talk about that. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, get to person. You find some person, some stranger. I told my wife she got this beautiful gift. Amen, praise. She said, honey, why do people be talking to me about their personal business? I said, baby, that's the gift of God has given you to listen. Amen. Amen, praise. You got to use what God give you. Amen. People, you, you go around people and, and, you know, people don't know you and they just got talking to you. Amen. Amen, praise. And sometimes don't want to be the people you want to socialize with. Amen. Amen. But they want to talk to you about what's going on in their heart. Amen. Because they're starting to think about it. Amen. When you go to thinking about it and go to talking about it, amen, dreaming about it, hello, hello. Amen, praise the Lord. Going to seeing it ain't there. Amen, amen, praise the Lord. Amen, amen. You're going to talk about it. You're concerned, amen, praise the Lord. That conscious mind go to kick in and start going. Amen, praise the Lord. That's why, amen, God is so conscientious about the condition of his servant's heart. Because he knows if the devil can taint your heart, amen, he can control you. Amen, praise the Lord. It reminds me of a scene, a young lady. I heard a young lady told this fella. She said, uh, how this thing go? She said, if, if, if I get your mind, I'll get your money. <laughs> she wasn't talking to me because she, she knew better. <laughs> but I heard her tell the other fellow, if I get your mind, i get your money. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. So the devil know if he can mess your heart up, amen, he can what? Get your soul. Amen, praise the Lord. Let's look at some more. Amen, praise the Lord. These are, amen, uh, let's see. Let's look at the 14. I, ain't got, I have, it's a bunch of them, but I ain't going to do all of them. We're going to look at some. Uh, let's go to 16. Listen, my son, and be wise, and set your heart on the right path. Do not join those who drink too much wine or gorge themselves on meat. For drunkards and gluttons become poor, and drowsiness clothes them in rags. Amen. Wisdom. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's talking about the heart. Dealing with what's wrong with you internally, not externally. Amen. Praise the Lord. And when a man, amen, talks sometimes, amen, sometimes he talks from his heart. Amen. The Bible says, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. The mouth going to tell you what's in somebody's heart. Amen. Pray. I heard a saying uh, uh, said that if, if you, uh, uh, amen, praise the Lord, be, uh, don't talk as much and listen. I mean, people tell you what's on their heart. Right. Amen? Amen. 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 And with me, they don't have a chance because I'm always running my mouth. <laughs> Amen. 
Amen, praise the Lord. I'm always running my mouth. Look at me, man, look at me, let me get a word in. I said, okay, brother, sister. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. I had to catch myself. Sometimes, you know, I remind me of my daddy. Amen. You go talk to my dad. I, I, I want to take my dad to a movies and him, my mama, and I asked my dad, Daddy, what kind of movie you want to see? Amen. He was going to give me some scriptures to help me. I said, Daddy, I'm not here for help. I'm here, amen, to help, help your enjoyment, to enjoy your life, amen. But he was so busy, going to give you a scripture to help you out, amen. If you ever know Pope and talk to him, amen, praise the Lord. He always in the frame of mind when you come in his presence, you want some help, amen, amen, because that's what his heart was all about, helping who? Everyone. No matter whether you're white, black, green, or purple color, no matter what, what race you is, amen, a lot of folks, amen, was over to the office talking to him. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We're going to look at some more. Let me go here, amen. All right, 24, let's look at 24, amen. It says, do not envy the wicked, do not desire the company, for their hearts plot violence, and their lips talk about making trouble. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, you see? Amen, if you got a wicked heart, wisdom says, amen, wickedness in your heart, amen, what's going to happen? Amen, praise the Lord. Your, uh, your lips, amen, you're going to plot violence, and your lips going to talk about making trouble. Amen, if you mad with someone, what you going to do? Talk about getting even. That's right? But that's not wise, is it? Amen, praise the Lord. Let's, let's go, let's look at some more now. That's 21, 22 saying, amen, praise the Lord. Let me see, I go down a little, look up a little bit more. All right, back up here, let's see. Let me, let me go here, there we go. All right, uh, 25, I'm going to read this. Number 10, if you falter in a time of trouble, how small is your strength? Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those staggering tower slaughter. If you say, but we knew nothing about this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who guards your life know it? Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Who you think he's talking about? Amen, praise the Lord. Where's my sign at? We got a sign here in the church. Amen, praise All right, we got a sign in the church. First lady, you ain't tucking down, is you? What does it say up there? God knows your heart. Look at this verse. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, amen, praise the Lord. Glory. If you say you didn't know no better, you're supposed to help folks stop lying. Amen. If you fall in a time of trouble, uh, how small is your strength? Amen. Amen. Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those staggering towards slaughter. You say, but we know nothing about this. God knows what you've done. Amen, praise. If you can help someone, you didn't help them. Amen, praise the Lord. God will know it. Amen. And you can't use that as an excuse. Amen. Amen. Let's look at some more. Amen, praise the Lord. All right, let's look at, amen, praise the Lord. I went past the field of a slugger. Past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. Amen, praise the Lord. And I'm going to let you read a little bit further later. Amen, praise the Lord. Learn a little lesson. Uh, learn a lesson from what I saw. Amen, praise the Lord. He's talking about what kind of life these people are living. Amen. They learned a lesson. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're going to move further. We got more. Amen. Amen. We're going to. All right. I think that's it. I think that's the last one. Amen. Yeah. Uh, what is it? 22, 23, 26, 29. Uh, okay. That's 30. All right. Now, you got that. Amen. Let me go to some more. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. We're going to look at some more. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Those are uh, a third part of Proverbs. Amen. It's the 30 sayings of the wise. Amen, praise the Lord. I think out of that, there was 11 verses, and depending on 
what, amen, praise the Lord, version you use, uh, 11 of, out, of, out of those verses, 11 talked about the heart. Amen? Amen. Because God thinks it's, impossible, it's important. Wisdom is important. Amen? Praise the Lord. If you don't think your heart condition is important, amen, praise the Lord, you're not very wise. Amen? Amen. Because God wants us to know, amen, that he's really concerned about our heart. Amen? Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, think is in his heart. Amen. I wonder what's in some of our hearts now. Amen? What's in your heart now? What are you thinking about now? What's going on with you now? Amen. Pray. What are you thinking? Amen. It's time to go, Pastor. Amen. Amen. I pray, Pastor. I'm totally confused. I don't know what you're preaching about. Amen. What are you thinking now? I want you to pay attention to your thoughts. I, I, I want you to think about, amen, praise the Lord, because God wants us to think about, amen, because if we don't, Amen. We'll fall to the tricks of the devil. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. And what we're going to look at now, uh, we're going to look what Jesus had to say about it, about a relationship between a man's heart and his words. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to put these scriptures up here so uh, you can be ready. Amen. Praise the Lord. So if God says a man thinks in his heart, so is he. In other words, it's important to think about what we're thinking about. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's what the verse is trying to get over to you. You need to think about what you're thinking about. Amen. And that don't sound like it makes sense, but after you, after the day, hopefully, after this message, you'll see what's, how much sense is in it. Amen? So what were you thinking? Amen? When you done something stupid. Amen? What were you thinking? Amen? Prayer. What were you talking about? Or, or do you remember what you just said? Amen? Are you, you, you aware that, amen, you, you, you said something? Amen? Praise the Lord. We're going to look at Matthew, the 12th chapter. Well, rather, amen, praise the Lord. We can go to, uh, let's go to Matthew 7 first. Amen. Then we'll, then we'll uh, look at 12 later, maybe. We're going to go to Matthew 7. Amen, praise the Lord. Let's find, where's that thing at? Here we go. Matthew 7. We want to consider what God has to say about our thinking. Amen. All right. Matthew, what I said, Matthew 7 and 16. That should pop up. All right, now let's talk about a tree. Jesus was talking about a tree. Jesus wants to show us a relationship, a man's words, amen, praise the Lord, to his heart. Amen. Let's look at 16. Let's stand up for a minute and read this verse. We're going to go all the way down to the 20th verse. Amen. Can everybody see that? And I call myself spending time at the church last Sunday to straighten this out because it was terrible. And I hope it works better today. Amen. I do need my mic, honey. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to switch it back on and see what happens. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's good. Amen. All right. Amen. We'll see how long they'll last. Maybe the battery will come back. All right. All right. 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns? And fix up simple. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, and a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. 19. Oops, sorry. 19. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hand down and cast into the fire. 20. Wherefore, by their fruit you shall know them. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's, we're going to talk about that for a little bit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we know that Jesus was talking about the Pharisees, and you know, the Matthew 12, 33, 37 tell us that, but we're not going to go there. But Jesus was talking to the scribes and Pharisees because some of the things they have said. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. And the relationship between a man's heart and his words. You ever thought about that? Amen. I try to live my life. My daddy taught all of us, his sons and his daughter, that a man is no greater than his word. Amen. 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 If some people are going to say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Amen. But do they really mean it? Amen. I, I know you say, I heard you say it. There are some men won't say it until they actually really mean it. There are some women won't say it, or I should say the opposite sex, amen, praise the Lord, male or female, amen, depending on who you are, amen, praise the Lord. They won't say that they love you until they really mean it because it's very important to them, amen, that whatever they speak out their mouth, amen, they're going to mean it, Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever they say, amen, praise the Lord, uh, they want to mean it. Now, we're going to look at Matthew 12, and I want you to keep that in mind about the relationship of this tree. Amen. But let's go to Matthew, the 12th chapter, and the 33, but I see we went, but we're going to do it. Matthew 12, Matthew 12, 33. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go here. Matthew. All right, Matthew 12, 33. All right. Either make the tree good and the fruit go, else make the tree corrupt as fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. Amen, praise God. I'm going to pick that one up because I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, number 34. O generation of Bibles, how can ye being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Amen, praise the Lord. I'm giving it to you now. I'm giving it to you. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. All right, 35. A good man out of the good treasures of the heart bringeth forth good things. Can y'all see where I'm going? Yeah. Amen, praise the Lord. An evil man out of the evil treasures bringeth forth evil things. Amen. 36. But I say, hold on, but I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account of in the day of judgment. 37, for by, oops, sorry, for by thy word thou shalt be justified, by the word thou shalt be condemned. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Now, let's talk about this tree. Amen, praise the Lord. Can you see what Jesus was saying when he told the parable of the tree? How can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit? Amen. If you full of evil, don't look for you to do nobody for them to do some good. If you got evil in your heart, you're gonna say evil things. You got hatred and animosity. Me and my wife watching this movie. This young lady was upset. She was having a problem internally. She was working on her thesis and on for a doctorate. Amen. They turned her down. Amen. They told her, oh, don't come back because she must have really said something ugly to the dean. Amen. She left. Amen. Praise the Lord. She had no place to go. Amen. So she called her mama, who she despised and seen in a while, and she went to her mama's house. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it was on. Amen. Nasty attitude come out, my husband and mama wasn't getting along. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. But she couldn't go no further because she was harboring evil in the heart. When the Bible uses fruit and a tree, amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. How can your heart give some good fruit? Amen. How can a corrupt tree Bear good fruit. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, now, so, so this is what happened to some people. Amen. Praise the Lord. And they want some good fruit. Amen. Praise the Lord. So they make the fruit good. Amen. And think that's going to help the tree. Amen. Amen. It don't work that way. Amen. Common sense. Amen. Praise the Lord. You pulling some fruit from a tree and the tree bad. You say, I'm a doctor up the fruit. 
Amen. And when I come back uh, some next year, I want the tree to be better. Amen. The tree going bad and messed up and rotten. It's going to give you the same fruit year after year until you change something about that tree. Amen. Maybe you'll put some more fertilizer around. Maybe you'll give a little more water. Amen. Maybe you'll get some sunshine from heaven. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to change the tree. Amen. So, you know, when, when we consider people and the things they say and do, amen, praise the Lord, you may put your children in time out because they said a cuss word. Amen. Where you think they got it from? Amen. Now you become the tree. You corrupt. And you don't bear some fruit. Amen. Look at your children's attitude sometimes. Amen, parents. I ain't saying all these parents are bad that you got bad children. That's not what the past I'm saying. Amen. <laughs> what I'm saying is sometimes, amen, praise the Lord, your children are proud of, amen, praise the Lord, what they hear, see, and do, and learn from their environment. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. You take them to the hairdresser, amen, you put them down in the hairdresser, amen, praise the Lord. Pretty soon he might want his nails done. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, amen, praise the Lord. Pretty soon, amen, he getting cursed in the environment, amen. He wants some braids in his hair. Amen, if he ain't got enough hair, uh, it's, it's the beautician said, well, you know, we, we can sew something in your head. <laughs> amen, praise the Lord. And then when y'all start talking about men <laughs> in the hairdresser, I'm going to get on to the men now, don't y'all get upset. Y'all start talking about men in the hairdresser, amen, your little child listen, amen, and he's a male, amen, or a female, what do you think they're getting from your conversation? If your baby daddy hear you talking about them, how good, no good he is, hear all these evil words about papa, Amen, praise the Lord. Are you, in a, are you in a hairdresser talking about your mama and how she ain't being fed to you, ain't treating you right, and your child, listen, when they go to grandma's house, they sitting down way over there for grandma. Come give me some sugar, baby. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Amen, praise You like my wife. <laughs> Amen. She said, grandma, mama said you stupid. <laughs> but don't, don't be saying that. Amen. See, a corrupt tree, amen, going to give some fruit. There aren't those your fruit that you got together with that husband who you downing or isn't that the fruit you bear? You got with that woman who you downing so in front of your son and your daughter talking about their mama? Amen. Amen. What's what, 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 what you think going to become of that? How are that going to affect them from a mental standpoint? How is that going to affect them, a Lord, mentally and then also physically? Amen. Praise the Lord. Go, they hear those words and the words they go thinking on it. They thought grandma was the gift to God. Amen. But now you don't come in. Don't ruin, amen, praise a bright and shining star grandma. Amen. She can't be so bad because she made you. Amen. And you still living. Amen, praise the Lord. So you can't talk about grandma like that. If you do, amen, praise the Lord, go off to and leave your children home. Stop corrupting the fruit from your tree. Amen, praise the Lord. See, now let's back up a little further. Amen, praise the Lord. You know why that corruptness is going on? Amen, praise the Lord. Because they got that thing where the devil put it in, and they bring it right out of their mouth. I asked you earlier, think about what you're thinking about. Amen? Amen. Think about what you're thinking about. Amen. Is grandma really that way? Is granddaddy really that way? Go bring me a bill, baby. Amen, praise the Lord. And, and grandma said granddaddy's a drunk. <laughs> You always want to be. Take this be on him, boy. Amen, praise God. A, a, a granddad and grandma said you a drunk. What? See? Amen, praise the Lord. So, you know, uh, that's what Jesus was trying to get over. Now, let's talk about the scribes and the Pharisees. Amen, praise the Lord. What did the scribes and the Pharisees about, said about Jesus that we read? They said Jesus cast out devils where? With Bible, I thought maybe we didn't. But anyway, <laughs> Jesus cast out the devil in the name of Belgium. Amen. Jesus got upset and called them with some vipers. Amen. 
Amen, praise the Lord. And then Jesus went scientific, not scientifically, but he went, what's the word for it? He, Jesus talked to them in a way to appeal, amen, to logic. How about that? Amen. He said, amen, praise the Lord. How can, uh, can, how can a house divide against itself stand? Amen, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, if, if, if I'm a cast devil out, I'm a devil themselves, I'm tearing down the devil's kingdom. Amen? You see how the devil got their mind all messed up to say that about Jesus? Amen? You see? Amen, praise the Lord. That's one of them cases again where they went in, didn't think about it, amen, but how to get it out, and they opened their mouth. Amen. I like to think it's an axiomatic, amen, operation going on. Amen. Open your mouth, amen, and it come out. Amen. But God says what well, you got to think about. It. And then God says every outer word that men speak, you got to give account of. Amen. People that run their mouth like me, <laughs> I got to pray a little harder. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because some of the things I say, amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Uh, I got to ask God to forgive me for. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. I'm just being honest with you, church. Amen. We need to think about what's going on, amen, with our thoughts. Amen, praise the Lord. So now when you look at the analogy of a tree and a fruit, amen, praise the Lord, what kind of fruit do you bear? If you, uh, if you got a lot of hell in you, amen, praise the Lord, huh? you a messed up tree. Amen, praise the Lord. You ever studied this thing, looked at this thing from a long point of view, amen, praise the Lord. Huh? If you go to, if you got a, a, a man ain't no good, a woman ain't no good, and I'm going to use that term loosely because people got their definition, but it ain't no good and where's no good, you may praise the Lord. Uh, but, you know, we all say that, and amen, praise the Lord. I don't mean that the person ain't no good, but sometimes we get carried away. Amen, praise the Lord. And, and then now you got children from that woman. You got children from that daughter. Amen, praise the Lord. And if they're corrupt here, who you think the first thing they're going to corrupt? Their offspring. Their fruit. Amen. They're going to corrupt their fruit. They're around them most of the time. Amen. They're going to listen to what they say. Look at diabetes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Type 2. If you weren't born with it, you got that because how you eat. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If y'all are brought up eating all that old type of food that's going to cause diabetes, amen, what's going to happen? Amen. You're going to have little diabetes. <laughs> Little children, I understand. I was talking to one of my teacher friends of mine, and they said, "Yeah, we, the children got nurses, and they got lined up in the hallway, and everybody got to get their diabetes shot." I said, "What? Amen, praise the Lord. Corrupt tree. Your bad eating become your children bad eating. Amen. Amen, prayer. I know in the day, you know, uh, uh, people used to fatten and cheering up. Amen. You look too skinny, boy. You need to eat. Amen." Amen. Then he big and fat. Amen. Praise the Lord. When he's young, it ain't going to bother him. But he developed, amen, that corrupt habit of being gluttonous, eating so much in the wrong kind of food. Amen. So when his body don't have enough of that, what happened? He can't stop it. He got to get some help. Amen. Because corruptness started way back then when they were a child. Amen. Like my daddy. My daddy ate good. Amen. And he didn't eat no pork. My mama sure did. She like a bacon. Amen. I got some of them habits because I'm going to eat my bacon too. <laughs> Amen. I don't eat so much, but I'm going to eat it too. Amen. Amen. I don't know whether you classify that being corrupt or not. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I control my high blood pressure. Amen. And my diabetes without medicine. I do it by my diet. Amen. I got, amen. I don't let that corruption go to my brain and without me thinking about it. When I eat something, I got to think about it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got a good little why. Amen. Help me think about it. Oh, you got too much on your plate. <laughs> I said, yeah, you're right, baby. I don't get mad with her. You're right, baby. Let me take some of that off. Mother in law, go uh, put some of that back in the pot. <laughs> Amen. I'll take it home and, and put it in something in a container. I'll take it home and eat it later. Amen. 
Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Look, if you like me when I was young, I used to eat at my mama house, drive over to my girlfriend's house, which is now my wife, and eat another week. Get, and they never got no bigger. Amen. It was slim and trim, ate like a pig. My metabolism burning it all up, but it ain't burning it up now. I got to think about what I'm eating. Amen, praise the Lord. You get the idea, think about what you're thinking about. Amen. Am I, I'm thinking about eating, but let me think about eating, amen, praise the Lord, that won't cause me to have uh, my diabetes to get out of whack. I'm going to think about what I'm eating. You thought you wanted to eat, now think about what you're going to eat and how much you're going to eat. You understand where I'm going? Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus said, make the tree good, and it's fruit good, or make the tree bad, and it's fruit bad. Amen, because the tree is known by its fruit. Amen, the tree is known by its fruit. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, we're going to move on. Amen, let me look, look and see here. We're going to move on a little further. Amen, amen. Uh, let's talk a little bit more. Amen, praise the Lord. We know that if you want good fruit, amen, praise the Lord, the first thing you need to do is make the tree good. Is that right? It makes no sense to try to make the tree good by making its bad fruit better. Amen? If you want a better life, amen, praise the Lord, make your tree good. Amen? Amen, praise the Lord. Make your tree good. Your tree. So when you do things, your fruit will be good. Amen, praise the Lord. When you go on a job, amen, your fruit will be good, amen. Your relationship will be good because the tree is good, amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen, if you desire some good fruit, amen, praise the Lord. A better life, a more life, abundant life, amen, praise the Lord. Amen, you got a good, a good tree, Amen. And the only way your tree can be good, amen, praise the Lord, you got to get with God. Amen? Amen, praise the Lord. You, you, you can't make your tree good, amen, praise the Lord, by, by going around apologizing and doing the same thing over again. You can't get no good tree that way, amen, praise the Lord, or doing terrible things and asking God to forgive you over and over, good, over, over again, amen. You're not going to make your tree good, amen, praise the Lord. Saying things, uh, flying out because you're upset and mad, doing things because you're upset and mad, and you think they're going to please you, going to the liquor store, amen, or the convenience store, amen, but get you some alcohol, drink it, amen, praise the Lord, so it make you feel better. It does not make your tree good. Good. Getting you some drugs, smoking a joint, amen, popping some pills, amen, praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you again, it does not make your tree good. Amen? Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. And this analogy of the tree is a man's heart. Amen, praise the Lord. And analogy of the tree, fruit, are the words that man's mouth speaks. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, amen. If you're going to talk bad, amen, praise the Lord, then you must realize you're going to do some bad things, amen. Praise the Lord. You're going you're gonna to say something, amen, praise the Lord. What's going to happen, amen, praise the Lord. Uh, some of the things you say going to take root, amen. Amen, praise the Lord. It's going to take root, amen, praise the Lord. You don't know who's listening at what you say, amen, praise the Lord. Somebody say, well, I, I, I thought you was a Christian. Amen, praise the Lord. What, 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 what happened to you? Amen, praise the Lord. Uh, God, it was all right for you to talk that way. Amen, praise the Lord. And, and God happy with you. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. What are you talking about? Amen, praise the Lord. Think about what you're getting ready to say. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. So if you want good treasures, amen, praise the Lord. You want some good fruit. Amen, praise the Lord. The Bible says, amen, that you have to bring forth, you want to bring forth good things, you got to get some good treasures of your heart. Amen, praise the Lord. Evil tree brings forth what? Evil things. Amen. And a corrupt tree brings forth what? Uh, uh, bad things. And a corrupt tree brings forth hatred. And a corrupt tree 
brings forth animosity. But if you want to be good, amen, praise the Lord. You must, amen, praise the Lord, think good things. Think good thoughts. Amen, praise the Lord. I told my wife the other day, baby, I'll call you because I was just thinking about you. Amen. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. And if she replied to me, oh, she don't normally say it, but I'm going to just say she did. She said, what you think about me for? <laughs> amen. My wife don't say that, but I'm just saying if she did, amen, I heard some people say, I called my wife, told my wife thinking about her. She said, well, why are you bothering me? You ain't got nothing to do at work. You better be thinking about that job. <laughs> amen. Baby, I'm just thinking about you on my lunch break. How you doing? Amen. Thinking good about your spouse. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know, amen, if, if you're not accustomed to calling them and say, I was thinking about you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Maybe, amen, it's time to start doing it. Sometimes in marriage, it's one side. Amen. They never give the partner a compliment. Amen. Women say always, oh, you know, they be looking for flowers. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, sir, I brought my wife so, so much flowers so many times to look like they wasn't important no more. <laughs> Y'all know what I did, didn't you? I stopped bringing them. <laughs> I started getting them some jewelry. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. So one day she say, honey, why don't you bring me some flowers like you used to? I said, okay. Now she read it because she missed them. Amen. She got about four or five bases around the house and all of them empty. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. So I bring up some flowers now. Amen. Praise Because I be thinking good about it. I be in the store. I be thinking about my wife. Amen. I bring up some flowers. Amen. I'm thinking good about my wife. So I want to what? Do good. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're thinking uh, uh, bad about a person, first thing, devils, don't bring them nothing. They don't deserve it. See what you created? Thinking evil, thinking bad, thinking corrupt, corrupt tree, bringing forward what? Evil fruit. Amen. But if you can get that corruptness out of you, think some good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Maybe when you see your church family, you'll say, oh, you look so nice. Amen. I love your hair. Amen. Oh, that's a nice dress. Oh, that's a nice suit. Them some, those are some nice pants. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, you'll preach a good sermon, pastor. Amen, praise the Lord. Everybody likes compliment, but if you can't give nobody no compliment, that's because something ain't right with you. You can take them, but you can't give them. Something wrong with you on the inside. Amen, you need to take a look at that to see if you corrupt. Amen. What kind of fruit you going to give out? Amen. Praise all the good fruit they're giving you. Amen. That ain't changing you. Amen. There you go again. What the Bible says. Amen. You can't make the tree good by giving good fruit to the tree <laughs> or taking the fruit from the tree and changing the fruit. You got to make the what? Tree good. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Let me move further. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus wants the Pharisees to watch what they say, amen, and we need to watch what we say. That's why he threw down on them and told them, amen, praise the Lord, amen, that you brood or you vipers, amen, amen, you vipers. How can you say the nasty things about Jesus helping and doing good to someone? Amen, praise the Lord, amen. Well, Sometimes we get careless, okay? And, 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 but the Bible says we're going to give an account of all these things we say carelessly in the days of, of judgment. We all increase moments when we say careless words and many remarks that we make. We increase those moments more and more. The devil set a situation up, amen, praise the Lord, so you can go Get, uh, put a thought in your mind, and you think a little bit, and it's out. Amen? Amen. And he does that frequently more and more. If you don't put that in check, amen, praise the Lord, then the devil got you going his way. Amen, praise the Lord. 
Amen. Now, sometimes we, we do that, amen, by cussing. Amen. Amen. Using a cuss word. Amen. Sometimes we do that by telling a joke. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you look at social media sometimes. You ever see somebody post something on social media and they wish they wouldn't? <laughs> Everybody don't saw it. Now they got to try to take it down. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Word we say reveals something about our heart. If your heart is confused, sin sick heart, amen, your mouth is going to tell people what's in your heart. Amen, praise the Lord. And you're posted on social media, amen, that's the pitfalls on social media, amen, praise the Lord. Everybody's going to know you got a troubled heart because what you posted on social media, now you want to take it down. Amen, praise the Lord. So, it's not that Jesus wants just the Pharisees to watch the words, but he wants all of us to watch our words. Amen, praise the Lord. Because our hearts is a key indicator. Amen. Our mouth is a key indicator of what's in our heart. Amen, praise the Lord. God wants you to watch over your heart. Amen, diligently. Amen. Watch it, amen, because when the devil puts something in you, amen, and you start thinking on it and accept it in your heart, amen, the devil is building his kingdom in your heart, amen, amen, praise the Lord. See, the devil speak to your spirit, amen, and you know, sometimes the devil speaks through people and, and you hear them words. And, and, you know, when you might have been ignoring in your spirit, sometimes you get a person to say something because he couldn't get to your spirit. Hello? Amen? Amen? That's you being strong now. Amen? So he got to find the vows of plan how to get to you. So he'll get somebody. You know, usually, usually who, you know what it be that can get to you. You know who can really get to you? People that you love. Amen? A wife or a husband can say something to one another, somebody else going to say it don't mean much. But when a wife or a husband or your children or your mother and father's family member say something to you, amen, praise the Lord, you're going to think about it. Well, why they say that? Amen, praise the Lord, because the devil uses them because he couldn't get your spirit. Amen, praise the Lord. But he uses them Amen. So you can hear it. Amen. Praise the Lord. And go to thinking of it. Amen. The devil often tells me all kind of foolish. Amen. In my spirit. I said, get with me, devil. I don't, I don't want to hear all that. Amen. Amen. Have anybody here ever told the devil that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. If you don't say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say it again. Say it like you mean it. Amen. amen. But if you don't tell the devil to leave you alone, he thinks you his best friend. Amen. 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 James, the fourth chapter says, submit yourself therefore to God and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Draw nigh to God. Amen. He won't draw nigh to you. Amen. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart. That's what James 4 says. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't let the devil know it's all right to talk to you and say any kind of thing to you. Don't let him think that. Don't let him believe that. Tell him, leave me alone, devil. I don't want to hear that. Amen, prayer. I imagine the drug dealer need to, I'm not drug, people doing drugs need to tell the devil. People got them cigarettes problem. Amen, prayer. I was, I, was, I was really disheartened when I went to, amen, praise the Lord, uh, hear somebody in my family, amen, praise the Lord, was smoking cigarettes. Young person. Amen. Smoking cigarettes. I say, now, you know, I say the devil really got their mind. You want to know the devil got their mind? Amen. Praise the Lord. How you think they get hooked on drugs? How you think they get hooked on alcohol? Amen. Amen. Because the devil put it in their heart. Now, scientifically, their bodies start to crave all of those terrible things that destroy and tear their body. Now, the devil's on his uh, 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 journey of destroying you from inside out because you accept it. 
Amen. The thing that you put in the mouth. The first time I smoked a cigarette, I think I was in eighth or ninth grade. I still remember the guy. His name was Victor. I don't remember his last name, but his name was Victor. And we went to elementary school together. Amen. We worked at downtown uh, 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 bussing tables and stuff. Amen. Praise the Lord. Make, making money. Amen. We used to ride the bus back and forth. So Victor pulled out a cigarette. And I said, man, why you smoke? He said, man, it's cold out here. This helped keep my hand warm. Uh, you know, you want one? I got one. Amen. I went to coughing and carrying on. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I put it out. Amen. You see how the devil do? Told him to give me a reason to smoke a cigarette. And I wasn't not with God as I was then. Amen. Praise the Lord. Young teenage fella. Amen. Praise the Lord. Huh? Tried the cigarette because it's supposed to keep. What kind of stupid stuff is that? <laughs> Try a cigarette supposed to keep your hand warm. You mean tell me I was young and never I, I was that stupid? <laughs> Amen. Amen. See how the devil works. Amen. I could keep my hands in the pocket. I can't put the cigarette in there, but I could have kept my hands in my pocket to stay warm. But no, old Victor said, here, try one of these. And I'm going to tell you, it didn't keep my hands warm at all, and it sure made me feel bad. I coughed and coughed and coughed, and I ain't never bought a cigarette since then. Amen? That's how the devil works. Amen, praise the Lord. If I would have took time to think about it, Amen. That's what Jesus was saying to the scribes and Pharisees. If they would have thought about Jesus helping and healing people, casting out devils, raising the dead, giving sight to the blind, healing. If they would have took time and thought about what the devil put in their mind. They said, devil, how can he be with you? And look what he's doing. He's helping. Because they didn't take time, amen, praise the Lord, to consider the thought. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen, praise God wants us to guard our heart. I'm going to go to Proverbs, amen, 4.23. Amen, and we're about to close now. Amen, let's see where this let me go. Proverbs 4.23 and 24. Let's read together. Amen. Hold, hold, hold. Let's see me get this off here. Come on. Well. Always something, isn't it? Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me get this out. I don't hide it popped up there. But. All right. Let's see. Can I get around that? Yep. Sorry about that. Now. Uh, we're probably 23. Let's go back. Amen. We'll work around it. Well, yeah, this happened before. It happened before. Hold on. Let me see. Let me go down here in the bottom here on this figure. Did I change it? Oh, boy. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring this up some, but uh, we'll, we'll get that off of there somehow. I can't do anything with it. Amen. And there we go. Now, all right. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and preserved lips put far from thee. And eyes look right on. Oh, let me go to 23. Hold on. Let's go to 23. Amen. 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Amen? Amen. Let's go one more. 24. Put away from thee a fraud mouth and reserve lips put far from thee. Amen? Praise the Lord. When it talks about, uh, uh, about your heart, okay, uh, out of it are the what? Issues of life. Out of your heart are the issues of life. What's, well, what kind of issue are you having today? Amen. You think about it. What's going on in your life? Amen. What kind of, of situation you're going through? 
Amen, praise God. Out of your heart will come with the issues of life, how you're going to deal with it. Think like God wants you to think. Amen, praise the Lord. Put your trust in him. Amen, praise the Lord. When you start thinking about those things, there, there are some strong things that God wants you to know when you start thinking about your heart. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. One of the things that, that you think about uh, in your heart is how you're going to make it. Amen? When you're going through something, you think about how you're going to make it. Or, or, or what do I need to do to make my life better? Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen, praise the Lord. God has so much knowledge to impart for those, amen, wants to get their life right. Those want to have a better life. Jesus said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundant. Amen, praise the Lord. Some things you ought to think on. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Not think how you're going to get even. Not think evil how you're going to beat up somebody and take their money. Amen. Not think on how you're going to go and rob a bank. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Not think how you're going to cheat grandmama out of her money. Amen, praise the Lord. Not, how, not think how who you can borrow money from. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. I, 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 these people, they'll go, some people go around borrowing money from every family member. Amen, make their rounds. Some people do the church people like that. We had a member here go to different churches. That's how they raise the money. God don't want you to think like that. Amen, praise the Lord. He wants you to think that, praise the Lord, that he'll open up the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing that you won't have room to receive. He wants you to think that trouble don't last always. Amen, praise the Lord. He wants you to think, amen, that he said in his word that I'll never leave you or I'll never forsake you. He wants you to think, amen, praise the Lord. All you got to do, amen, praise the Lord, is put your trust in him, amen. If I can think about Jesus and all his goodness, and then when you start thinking, amen, praise the Lord, have some appreciation that God has brought you to this point in life, Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, amen. You ain't six feet below. Amen, praise the Lord. And if you ain't in the hospital, don't know which way you're going to go, whether you're going to live or make it. Amen, praise the Lord. You ought to tell God, thank you. You got a roof over your head. Tell God, thank you. Because why? He has brought you to this point in life. Now the devil is trying to wrap your mind, mess your mind up. Amen. Always worrying about what other folks have and what you don't have. Amen. Have an appreciation what God has done for you now. I heard a song somebody say, he brought me and he taught me from a mighty long ways. I know David said, I look to the hills. From whence coming my help, my help coming from God. You know, David thinking about that thing. David thinking, where is help coming from? When you need some help, amen. Some of us think that we go what? Ask our friend. Amen. Ask our buddies. Amen, praise the Lord. But when you start thinking like David did, God's going to deliver me. From my situation, when, when, when I start thinking about these things, I, 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 the Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter come up, and th amen, praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah, and, 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 and other scriptures coming up, amen, Deuteronomy. And, and you know, I, I like the part when it says in Deuteronomy 28, everything that I raise my hand to, going to be blessed. I'm going to be blessed when I go in and I'm going to be blessed when I come out. That's the kind of thinking that God wants you to think on. Amen? And don't think on how to get even. Don't think on how to be evil. Think of how God can and God will bless you. 
bear some good fruit. Amen. Praise the Lord. You ever seen somebody down? Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I like to tell them, I never seen the righteous forsaken or seen begging for bread. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, when the Israelites had their back up against the wall, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And they thought they'd come to a land. Amen. And it looked like, amen, they ain't got no food, no water, no place to stay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. God provided manna. God took water out of rock. God had a pillar of fire. God had a cloud, not a GPS. He had a cloud. Amen. Praise the Lord. To glide them through the promised land. Amen. Praise the Lord. See, you got to think about what you're thinking about. Amen. Praise the Lord. Think about God's goodness. Think about how God delivered you. Think about his promises. There's so much literature out. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you got a cell phone, you can put it, type in God promises. Amen. And read some of them promises. Amen. Think about God. Amen. Praise the Lord. When you're depressed and sad and, and you don't know how to go, what to go. Amen. Praise the Lord. Think about God. Goodness. Think about praying. Think about coming to his house of worship. Think about, amen, and be grateful that God has delivered you. Amen, praise the Lord. God wants to keep our heart. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, he wants to guard our heart. He wants to keep our heart from evil. Amen. So if we keep our hearts from evil, what's going to happen to our, what we say, what our words? Our words are stop being evil. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. You think about it and you say it. Is that right? And then sometimes you think about it and you do it. Amen. And then some, most of the time when you're doing evil, it don't take a whole lot of thinking. You just do it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Out of heat of anger, you done it. Amen. And didn't realize how much the consequences of trouble you're going to get in. Amen. That's how evil does. Amen. But when you think about good things, Think about righteousness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. You can see the benefits of thinking about righteousness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thinking about, give it considerable thought. Amen. Praise the Lord. It don't take much thought to do evil. Amen. Amen. It takes more thought to do good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't find a justification for your goodness. Amen. Pray. If you need one, tell them God. God said it. Amen, praise the Lord. God asked us to do this. God wants me to do this. I want a better life. God promised me that I'm going to have a better life if I think about his goodness and all he's done for me. Amen. Amen. When I started thinking about I have a better appreciation about my life. When the devil brings up the past, Amen, praise the Lord. Don't think on it. Think on God's goodness today. Tell the devil, no, this is where I was, but this is where I am, and this is where I want to go. I want to be a better sunbeam from God. I want to be a better shining light for him. So my thoughts, amen, praise the Lord. I'm going to change the way I think. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. You know, I'm going to give you a little bit more, and we're going to stop. Amen. Pray I got a little bit more. Amen. Do you realize a lot of motivational sayings come from the Word of God? Amen. Amen. In this 30, uh, 30 of sayings that I brought to you, amen, praise the Lord. Look at Proverbs, and you can think some things you heard people say. Amen. Pray. It, it's in the Word of God. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. God fixed it in Proverbs to give you some motivation, ideas, and thoughts, and thinking so you can use them. That's why I put them up there. Amen. Because I want us, amen, praise the Lord, to be careful how we think. Amen. God, your heart, and be careful how you think. Think goodness. Think mercy. Think forgiveness. 
think love. Stop thinking hate. What does hate do? Calls wars. Hate calls adversity. Hate calls dissension. Hate causes divorce. Amen. Amen. Hate causes murder. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if you stop thinking evil and go to thinking good, you know, one of the things that I heard a motivational speaker say and a, uh, a psychologist told someone that was in counseling, they said, holding all that inside of you don't hurt the person anymore that hurts you. It hurts you more than hurt anyone else. Isn't that what the word is trying to teach us? Amen, praise the Lord. The devil keeps you all fussed, messed up. Amen, praise the Lord. All hated. The devil gets you looking so much hatred. Then you begin to hate yourself. I was in the military, and I heard this young man say this, and I might have said this to you. He was, you know, we was the only two blacks on the isolated duty base in, in Curry, Hawaii. He was telling one of the Caucasian people that we were stationed with, he said, I can't help because I was born black. He hated himself to the point. Amen? Yeah. Amen, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. When a person say, ain't nobody no good, are they talking about themselves as well? Ain't nobody. Man, when people say things like, uh, all black people, amen, praise the Lord. Are they talking about themselves? Amen. All women ain't no good. Are they talking about themselves? I mean, if I hear any of my children that say that, amen, praise the Lord, I'll get them straight. You know, i tell them, you black. You good. I'm black. I'm good. Your mama black. She good. Amen, praise the Lord. Stop hating yourself. That's what the devil wants you to do. Hate yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. So what the world is giving you a bad opportunity, bad chances. Amen. Praise the Lord. So what you having some hard struggles right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I tell people all the time, if you give up, then what? Amen. Every time you can't stay on a job. If you give up, then what? Amen. But you can't control your drug addiction. If you give up, then what? Amen. Pray if you've been married, amen, and, and your wife ain't treat you right, amen. Praise the Lord. If you give up, then what? Amen. If the children treat you bad, if you give up, then what? If you uh, you got a gambling problem, if you give up, amen, then what? You see, you got to think about this situation. If you find yourself, the devil got you towed down and messed up, got your mind and turned on the inside and make you to believe, amen, because your environment, your condition that you in, amen, praise the Lord, is hard and difficult and things are not working out for you, amen, praise the Lord. The devil gets you thinking, amen, that's where your life always going to be and you ain't no good, so you might as well do bad and ugly and no good thing. No. Tell the devil he a liar. My life going to be better. My life going to get better. Because I'm doing what I heard this song say. I'm just leaning on the Lord who died on Calvary. And I'm trusting in the word of God. You need somebody to lean on. If you are today, amen, thinking those evil thoughts, corrupted tree, amen, praise the Lord. If you're thinking that way, you need, amen, some Jesus. Amen, praise the Lord. Let Jesus, amen, change your tree to make your tree better. He'll make your tree better if you think on him. Think on what the word of God says. 
The Bible teaches us that I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. Think on those words. Think on that all I need is just the faith of a grain of mustard seed. God's word says I get power. Power. Power is what I need to do what's impossible. It seems like my life is impossible now, but I serve a God that can transcend the impossible and make it well and make it real, make it come forth. Because why? I'm going to think about Jesus in my life. Lord, help me to make it. You imagine when Daniel's in the lion's den. What did Daniel think about the ferocious lion? Amen. Did Daniel think no lion's going to chew me up? I better get the heck out of here. No, he thought about Jesus protecting him in the mouth of a lion. If you're in the mouth of a lion today, amen, amen. they're all clawing at you and throwing and, and look like they ain't been fed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because that's how the devil will put you. Amen. Think on Jesus. When the Hebrew boys went into the fiery furnace, amen, praise They were threatened to put them in, amen. What did they do, amen, praise the Lord? They kept in prayer and concentration with Jesus. When Paul was in the prison, what did Paul do? Think on Jesus. And what happened? Amen. The chains and the doors opened. The chains fell down. The doors opened because he wasn't thinking about his prison. Let me tell you, you know how I know he wasn't thinking about that when he in prison. Paul wrote letters to churches of heaven problem while he was in prison. This mind, amen, for his body was in prison, but his mind was free to think on who? Jesus. Don't let Satan imprison your mind today. Get you to think in these evil thoughts. Amen, praise the Lord. Don't let them imprison your mind. There's plenty of examples throughout the Bible. Amen, praise the Lord, where people were going through some things. Amen, praise the Lord, went through some things. Amen, even his disciples. Amen, they had thoughts. Amen, they were, Jesus was on the ship sleep. Amen, tell them the thinking. Amen, praise the Lord, that Jesus got power to transcend a storm. Amen, they tell, waking up, Jesus, Jesus, wake up, or we're going to drown. Amen, he said, oh, ye of little faith. They wasn't thinking. Amen, their mind was going, regurgitating what the devil put in their thought that they was going to pearl. How you can pearl with Jesus on board your ship? Hmm? How your ship going to get full of water and sink in the midst of the storm? And you got creations, God's son, aboard your ship. Watch what you're thinking. If the disciples with Jesus can fall privy to that kind of thinking, what about you? Think about what you're thinking. Amen. We're going to stop now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise this holy name. There's more, but we're going to stop. Amen. Praise the Lord. Get our minds and heart ready for a dismissal. Amen. Let us stand. And I want to thank those who tune in to our service today and those that came. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I hope that what we have done today can give you Another look on life. Another way to see things. Another way to think about things. Encourage you to think about what you're thinking. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you find that your thinking is fraud, you find that your thinking is corrupt, take this time out to think some other thoughts. And I said earlier, Tell the devil to leave you alone. Amen? Because he's going to come with them thoughts. And when he come with those thoughts, recognize you can't fight the devil by yourself. Amen? In the power of the devil, God said the devil was an angel and he removed him from heaven. He has power. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. The Bible says the devil can transform himself and, uh, that he'll look like an angel of light. The only way you can fight a supernatural being with the supernatural power of God. Amen. We talked earlier a few sermons about when. Amen. You can't see it, 
but it'll blow your house down and blow you down too. Amen. Because you say seeing is believing. I'm trying to tell you, no, it ain't seeing and always believing. We believe in God by faith. Amen. Amen. And that faith gives us power to do impossible. And if you think your life today, as you hear the sounds of my voice, is impossible for you to get out of the situation, I'm going to tell you today, nothing is impossible for God. Blessings, honor, glory, wisdom, knowledge, might, and thanksgiving be unto God forever and ever. Amen. We are dismissed.